In this segment, we'll look at some special analysis tools available in the Teledyne LaCroix Kibra 480 bus analyzer that are designed to find row hammer problems within DDR memory. Row hammering issues become visible, activating a specific row multiple times, causing a bit flip in an adjacent row. So, after writing data to memory, you pre-charge it back to the array. It's solid green. Then, activating a different row pushes data to the sense amps. Think of this row as the aggressor. The adjacent rows are the victim. Now, as the aggressor row is activated multiple times and the charge in the victim row decays, crosstalk or attenuation causes a bit flip in a single cell, resulting in data corruption. Now the refresh command comes along and recharges the victim rows, including the invalid data, perpetuating the error. This is a hard to find problem. It's internal to the DRAM. You may only see this with specific real world applications. It's an issue for DDR3 and DDR4. To help users identify this problem, the Teledyne LaCroix DDR bus analyzer can now post process a trace to identify any time a large number of activates occur within a given refresh cycle. After capturing a trace, I go to the row usage report. With the report open, I go to the analysis view. Here I can specify which commands I'd like to look for on specific ranks, banks, bank groups, and even individual rows. So the report will automatically count the number of activates within a refresh cycle. I can choose to look at all ranks and all banks, or I can restrict the search to specific ranks and banks I want to specify. For example, this is a simple dual rank dim. I'm just going to look at rank 0, and I'm only interested in bank address 3. So I'm going to specify those parameters. I can look at a specific row, or I can look at all rows. Now, with row hammer, we're interested in the activate command causing problems in adjacent rows. So I'm going to specify count the activates. I'd like to reset the counter on the refresh command. Anytime I see more than 20 activates within a single refresh cycle, I'd like to highlight that in the trace. We run the report. In a few seconds, the report finishes. We see on the left the complete row address that was present in the trace, along with the min, max, and average number of activates that were sent in each refresh cycle. Click on the column heading, and it will sort the table with the max per cycle at the top. For this specific row, 2614, we can see the controller issued 23 activates within a single refresh cycle. This exceeded our specified threshold. Click on the Show Detail Report, and the software can drill down on this specific row. It will provide a linked list with each refresh cycle, how many activates occurred within that cycle. The timestamps indicate the start and end point for each given cycle. Again, this is only for the row 2614. If we scroll down, we'll find the specific cycle where we detected 23 activates between refreshes. This could be a possible row hammer issue. I select the row, press the Add Cursor button. Now I've placed markers in the trace that indicate the exact location of this cycle. Zooming out allows me to see the boundaries of this cycle. And now I can drill down and try to understand why my controller was issuing so many activates to this specific row. A few final points about the row usage report. There's also the command count report, which identifies the total number of commands sent to each of these individual rows. And you can also use the row usage report to analyze the trace and see if any of these additional commands ever exceed your thresholds. For example, Maybe you're writing too frequently to certain rows, so you can search for how many writes were sent between pre-charges. If there's ever more than 50, I'd like to highlight that in the trace. That's the row usage report. Just one more way that the Teledyne LaCroix Kibra 480 allows developers to find and fix unique problems in their DDR4 memory subsystems.